It's a noisy day in New York, but there's the Dakota across Central Park on Central Park West. And I have my great memory of John Lennon when I met him that one night with Yoko and David Bowie. And we went back to the Dakota after hanging out. It was the mid-70s. We were coming from some show we mutually did. Are you ever getting back together again? Are you guys getting back together again? No. <laughs> So we go back to John and Yoko's place at the Dakota. Bowie was with us. We come in, John pulls me to the bedroom. Lennon's bedroom, we'd never met each other before. And incredibly disarmingly, he said to me, Artie, you worked with your Paul recently. I'm getting calls from New Orleans that my Paul wants to work with me and I'm thinking about it and I don't know what, how did it go when you worked with Paul? He's measuring his situation, the great John Lennon with Paul McCartney, with Paul and Artie and testing me out as if to make sure that my ego is fully established as a colleague of his. So now the ball's in my court. I say, John, remember that there was a musical blend that was a great kick. If you can return to the fun of that sound and the musical happenings with your old buddy, and ignore the strands of complication and history. What I found with my Paul is the harmony and, and the sound happenings are a full agenda. They'll keep you busy and you'll have fun. Did he seem like he wanted to get back? I thought he did. The subject seemed very straightforward and uncomplicated. It was a musical question. It wasn't a heavy personal question. It really was. Uh, not many people I can go to to get a, a sense of how did it feel, but I trust you might know my situation. <laughs>